ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. I have some late night tea for y'all, honey. I've been trying to wait to do this video because I want to see how all this mess played out. And we've all been talking about it on Discord. We've just been talking about all this mess that's been going down with Wendy Williams and her family, okay? So, honey, go ahead, grab y'all's teacups, and uh, let me go ahead and break this down for y'all. So, if you guys do not know, Wendy Williams' mother died a few months ago. Her name was Shirley Williams, and she passed away. And, of course, Wendy took it really hard. And she took to her television show to let the world know about her mother's passing. Y'all can go ahead and check this out really quick. First of all, she passed away beautiful and peacefully and surrounded by love. And she didn't suffer, not one bit. All right, so you guys just heard what Wendy had to say. So then shortly after that, um, all of a sudden this video went viral today of Wendy Williams going off on her brother. First of all, let me keep it real with y'all, okay? I had no idea she had a brother. I didn't know she had siblings. I never really checked. I just assumed she was an only child, okay? And Wendy Williams, honey, she went from Franklin Lakes to Patterson, New Jersey in 2.3 seconds. She went off on her show for three straight minutes. She drug her brother, Tommy. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Uh, Tommy, let me tell you something right now. All you are is my brother. You better stop talking the way you're talking, because now it's dripping into my comment page. See, I wasn't searching for Tommy. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Right. I was simply looking about how people felt about last week's shows or the dresses or the guests we had on. We do, we do a nice production here. Mm -hmm. I'm minding my own wendyshow.com business. Mm -hmm. right? And I'm seeing a lot of comments about your brother doesn't like you or you better watch your back because your brother's on on one or Wendy I can't believe you're this kind of person or that he's pegging me to be a person that I am not honey mm. you don't want me to start pegging you to be the person that you are with full-blown receipts I could fill the audience with receipts, with the leftovers all the way around the block. Norman, do you understand what I'm talking about? I understand about? what you're talking about. Do you understand what I'm talking Do you understand oh, what I'm talking about? I understand what you're talking about. Okay. About. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are my brother. Let's keep it that way. Right. If you want to talk on the internet, then you talk about the things that you think you know about yourself. You don't want to talk about the things that I know about you. For sure. <laughs> By the way, do you like my dress, Tommy? Yeah. He would like a dress like this. Excuse me, crew in the back. <laughs> That's enough, of, enough about that. My mother's watching. Mommy, you know I know better. But you read the... Oh, never mind. She's busy with um, Mr. Abernathy, who was Dr. King's very good friend. They're, ha they're having a big celebration now. And of course, you know, Shirley is somewhere in the room uh -huh. <laughs> taking notes. <laughs> Suzanne, I'm going to get off of it, but I was on one last night. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> old milk didn't even have me run into the I toilet. Even, no, I, if it's a day old, I don't drink it. I don't go near it. I can't believe you, you didn't get, like, sick. Oof. But you read the blogs. Yeah, I see them. Mm. Could you believe that? Mm. Mm. Not good. Why are they all laughing back there? <laughs> because they read the blogs <laughs> and they can't believe that I'm actually uh -huh. voicing uh -huh. my I've been you holding are, back you. for years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, years. Mm. Mm. 
but had no reason to say anything. Like, what's, what's to say? But now I'm seeing, you know, he... So. You and your wife better get your life. All right, so you guys just heard Wendy Williams going off, honey. She was not here for the foolishness. She's very upset at her brother, uh, accused him of wearing a dress, you know, trying to insinuate some things about him. So anyways... You know, we were all talking about this because I'm like, okay, what happened? Who's this brother? And so I went researching, found her brother online. His name is Tommy. Basically, what happened is that last week, nobody, nobody at all. Tommy takes to social media. He has a YouTube page and he starts, you know, basically telling the world about what happened during his mother's funeral. And he's saying, you know, he's very upset. He's very hurt um, that Wendy went to the wake, but that she didn't come to the funeral. He also acknowledged that Kevin went to the funeral, um, but Kevin Jr. didn't. Both Kevin Jr. and Wendy went out to eat, but they didn't go to the mother's funeral. They just only went to the wake. So he was really hurt heard about this so i want you guys to go ahead and check out this video of him talking about it check this out and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary i'm there for my dad i'm there for my dad 100 200 300 percent but it frustrates me because family's not family doesn't always do what you would believe that should be done and I try to work, work and grapple through why, why do people, or why, what, I just think it's wrong. I just think it's wrong not to show if you love somebody, then be there for somebody. I don't get how you could just move on and just not act like nothing happened, you know? I've been conditioned to accept everything and every aspect and it's not a problem because most things are normal but this that's been presented to me and to our family upon the passing of our matriarch one of our icons i just don't understand I can't see behind beyond the mountains. I can't. You know, I watched um, an interview with um, with Wendy discussing her husband. fact that she was able to move on because or that she was able to tolerate things because she has a son and the son needed to have a father so she for his formative years before he got himself situated and things and you know that things the inevitable was gonna happen regardless really would have tried to make some changes I really would have conditioned myself But we were missing. 
that my mother would expect. As my friend Mike says, this is all bullshit sometimes, but you know, it's, it's cold. It's cold. You hear me all the time. It's a cold world we live in. My father always says at the end of the day, nobody cares. Well, that might be true, but I have to try to, I have to try to negotiate my mind and negotiate my, my voice of reason for myself. mental health is serious and I'm a thinking man generally it's to myself lately it's been to you to, to the and <laughs> but it's been just regular you know listening to all the passings and I came to you all to just share my morning and then to see that one person lost a brother this week and you know it's come on now it's all the time. Mothers and fathers and passings and everything. I think it's just everything. There's everything that happened here. With me starting this and me having COVID happened for a reason. All right. So you guys just heard Wendy Williams' brother spilling all the tea, honey. Talking about the funeral. Talking about all this stuff. So that is why Wendy Williams went off today. And, you know, she was very upset about the situation. So I was like, okay. I want to hear the brother's response. I want to see what's going to happen. So he just dropped a six minute video basically responding to Wendy's comments on the show. He just went off on her basically saying that she's selfish and that she's a liar. I mean, the brother snapped in his own little way. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Feeling crazy right now. Wendy, this video's for you. Unfortunately, I just got off the phone with daddy. Didn't watch the movie this morning. Didn't watch the show. I'm sorry this morning. Um, but he watched it this evening. Very upset, very disappointed, naturally. Really, this shouldn't be happening. It's crazy right now. Absolutely crazy. I asked you one question. Why didn't you go to the funeral? Why couldn't you call daddy and let him know why? Why couldn't you, if it was that serious, if it was that much of a stance, then, then what was the problem? I was there when you came in on that night of the, 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 the dawning of the wake. And um, you told us, you told daddy that you had to race back to New York, handle business. You were only going to be in town for the viewing. We didn't even know. He didn't even know. I mean, it doesn't matter if I knew or not. Your father didn't even know that you were in town for the for the funeral and you're out eating lunch with with your ex and, and your son which wouldn't be a problem i guess i i guess if you had told your father that or or i mean he was hurt he's hurt he's hurt wendy that's why i'm here right now because it's not fair it's not right it's painful it's painful for him. It's painful for me. It's painful for the family. We have a small family. It's fragmented because of this. Because I've put my foot all the way in it. And I'm going to twist it. And I'm going to keep it in there. You could call me out. You could say whatever you want about me, Wendy. It's not about that. Right? I'm married 21 years. You were married 21 years. Right? It's not about Kevin. Kevin came to the viewing. I thought that was great. Thanked him. Thought it was wonderful. Showed his admiration and his love for mommy. That night was... That night was special. Memorable. Fond memories. Mommy's still here all the time. I'm sure she doesn't understand, Wendy, why you didn't come to her funeral. Why'd you have to lie to daddy and tell him that you were going to be back in New York and you were here? It's not right. And you have us holding him up. You have him asking me questions I don't know the answers to. He wants to know. He doesn't understand. There's an emptiness because of you. Because of your selfishness. Mental health, I get it. Grief, I get it. 
I'm grieving too. I love you. I do. I'm concerned, yes. Have I tried reaching out numerous times? You hang up, you don't call back. I'm not calling for me, I'm calling for daddy. Like, this isn't right. And you just leave things just going, just let it go, whatever. That's not good, that's not fair. I'm doing what I need to do with daddy all the time. Whenever I get a moment, I'm with that guy. Love him to death. Mommy wants us to stay strong as a family. That's all mommy and daddy wanted us to do. Wasn't much to ask. What are you doing? Like, why aren't you fostering the importance of family even to your son? We went to our grandparents or our grand grandfather's funeral and great grandmother. Why, why do you have to, I mean, why, why lunch? Why my videos? And then you're gonna say you don't know anything about them. You, you, you know, come on, man. That's not good. You call me and you talk to me about the videos. Now, I'm not gonna go back and forth with you, Wendy, over the nonsense because it's just, that doesn't make sense. The main thing that I'm asking you, Wendy, is please, please tell daddy why you didn't attend the funeral. And take responsibility for what you've done, the pain you're causing. And pick up the phone when he calls. I love you. And I'll always be here for you. And as I deal with this pandemic, just like everybody else on this planet, I'll always leave a light on for you. Because it's just about a conversation and I wish one day we could sit down or you could sit down with your father and explain some things. Because I think he, he, he has the right to know. I love our family and I love you. And I'll always wish you the best. And I'm not trying to step in the way of anything that you're doing. But I think that to have mommy gone and to move on like nothing's happened and for you not to address this situation or address not going to your mother's funeral to your father, I think that's a travesty. All right, so you guys just saw everything that the brother had to say. So, of course, you know, people been wanting to know my opinion on this whole messy situation, honey. It's messier than a damn BK Whopper sandwich, but you know what? I'm here for it, bitch. So, this is how I feel about the situation. I'm getting messy teas from Wendy Williams' brother, okay? Now, let me get on the brother, okay? To me, he comes off as very manipulative. He tries to talk all soft and, hey, I'm Tommy and I just want positive vibes. And I see through the soft mush mouth bullshit. OK, that is a facade. I feel like he knew what he was doing. Hey, girl, I just want to let you girls know that I'm a real messy bitch, a liar, a scammer. I love robbery and fraud. I'm a messy bitch who lives for drama. We got to realize the times that we're living in, okay? We're living in the in the era of the pandemic. Everybody's looking for a bag. Everybody's looking for a following. You got celebrities running to create, you know, social media accounts on OnlyFans and start podcasts, okay? I'm assuming Wendy's brother is also trying to do the same thing. He's trying to build a name for himself. And what better way to build a name for yourself and to build a following and get some YouTube coins and subscribers than talking about your sister, Wendy Williams, who is one of the biggest talk show hosts out here, who herself is messy and people love to know any tea about her because she likes to spill everybody else's tea. I believe that is his motive. And the reason why I say that I believe he has ulterior motive and he's not being as sincere I'm not saying he's not mourning I'm not saying that he's not sad you know what I'm saying I'm never going to tell anybody how to mourn or you know what they're going through with their parent but the fact that you know he's taking this to the internet and you know saying that my sister didn't go to the funeral and why wouldn't you go and you know that's not okay why are you asking us 
that is your sister. Call her and talk to her privately. You know, one, everybody mourns differently. So I don't want to judge anybody. You know, she didn't go to the funeral, but she went to the wake. Maybe she couldn't handle it. And you publicly blasting her. How was that supposed to help your sister help her mental health? Another thing that really bothers me with this guy, where I said I'm seeing through the BS, is I'm going through his videos because you know I like the research, honey. I see where he left a comment on his video and it says, hey, cats, anyone interested in sending something to the show slash donations? Here's the info. And he calls it the Tommy Williams show. He leaves his P.O. box and then he says four donations to the show. Cash app Tommy. This is the man that's so hurt and mourning. This man literally has about maybe 10 videos on his channel. He has no personality, dry as hell. It, it took me forever to just find the few clips that I damn found. He's been on the internet for five days, and literally everything is attached to Wendy. Wendy Williams' ex-husband blowing up. Wendy Williams' husband has a barbershop in Florida. Wendy Williams' family's official watch party. Then he goes on to talk about his mother being on his mind. This man is trying to capitalize on Wendy and what she built, and that is trash. That is not okay with me. On top of that, he's asking for donations. Donations for what, sir? I'm, I'm confused. A show set? Because he seems to like filming in his car a lot. Sir, I'm going to need you to sit down and eat your chicken and dumplings. You should have just sat there and ate your food. Because to me, you're looking hella thirsty right now. You look like you have ulterior motives. Now, on top of that, after he checked her in that video for six minutes, guess what? Then he came out with another video, not even 10 minutes ago, he went live. He went live and he titled the video, Tommy Williams reaching out for positive vibes for my Tommy cats. You have a fan base name, sir? You just got here. You've been on YouTube for five days. He has a fan base name, Tommy cats? Like, sir, stop. So let me go ahead and play y'all this clip. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I don't know, Alex. That's what, you know, cheap, cheap shots. Got the big old microphone, but it's all good. I mean, you know, it's, for the record, folks, I love Wendy. I say it all the time. I'll keep on saying it. I'll say it to my last breath. Just didn't understand something, that's all. Wanted clarity. Wanted clarity for my dad. Wanted clarity for for my mother. You know? I was where I needed to be. I didn't need clarification for myself. It wasn't about me. If it was about me, then I wouldn't be saying anything. You know? You watched the video. I guess if you did, you know, from my heart, I do it again and again, you know, I can't stand a bully. That's one thing I can't tolerate. I will always be down with the underdog. I don't like prejudice. I don't like bullying. I stand by my morals, my values. I take my licks. I got faith. Everything's going to work out. It's working out now. So what you going to do, folks, right? Michelle, thanks for the vibe from New Orleans. New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans, I got it. TS World, thank you very much. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Deborah Wilson, hey. Thank you, Ronald. Appreciate you. 
Yes, I believe so. MLG, uh, LMG. LMG. All right. So y'all just watched that video. So he's claiming that he stands by his morals and his values and that, you know, he's questioning not for himself, but for his mother. Sir, if you really had a question that you wanted answered, the best source is the person that you need the answers from, which would be your sister, Wendy Williams. You're not going to get any answers from nosy people on the Internet who really technically don't care about the situation. This is just a topic that's gone viral. So we're all going to talk about it in the sip tea. But these folks on the Internet, they don't care about you like that. But you know who does care about you? You know who should have your back? You know, when it's all said and done, your sister. So making videos and doing all this is just not a good look. And you can tell he's loving the attention, honey. Oh, he loves it. Hey, Michelle, thanks for the vibes from New Orleans. He loves the attention. He loves the fact that people now know his name and, you know, he has a fan base called the Tommy Cats. If y'all don't see through this bullshit, I don't know what else to tell y'all. Y'all can sit here and sympathize and send him all the positive vibes that you want to, but I see through the nonsense. This man is looking for a show. And he's willing to step on his sister to get that damn show. But the problem is, Wendy Williams has way more personality than you do, sir. So good luck to you in that show of yours. You know, this whole situation is a shame. Now I have to address Miss Williams, okay? Wendy, you messed up by even addressing this stupid shit on national television. Because truth be told, many people like myself and others had no idea you even had a brother. So you were addressing him on national television and blasting him. All you did was basically do what he subconsciously wished that you would do, which is blast him, talk about him. And now when you put in Tommy on YouTube, he is literally the second search person, Tommy Williams, Wendy Williams brother. And that's all he was looking for. When people fuck with you, when people try and do stupid shit, you never give them more attention. That's what they're seeking. What hurts them the most is ignoring their stupid asses, paying them dust and letting them destroy themselves okay so that is where wendy messed up because now all you did was bring him attention he is the number one topic right now all of the blogs are talking about him you gave him more attention than he ever could have gotten whereas if you would have just paid him no mind and ignored him maybe a few hundred people might have seen his video but when you blasted him onto a nationwide platform now thousands of people are going to go look for his video and trying to figure out who Tommy is but don't worry he's boring and most people will sip and then leave and not come back but you were foolish for even addressing this and it just looked tacky and then the fact that I don't know she was trying to low-key out him by saying oh he, you know he wears dresses like kind of low-key trying to send threats to him but he's saying that he's married and he has a wife um personally I don't care but I thought it was tacky that she would try and throw the dress line out there like what are you trying to insinuate that you would out him because of what he's doing let's not stoop low okay when they go low we go high Wendy remember the words of Michelle Obama so I don't know y'all this whole situation's a hot damn mess but like I said I see through the nonsense Tommy is a clout chaser okay he wants donations he wants subscribers and he wants Tommy cats to follow him because again he can't build anything as far as a social media presence on his own that is why a majority of his videos are all based around his sister Wendy so I think this was very messy I think the fact that they are both mourning and grieving their mother it's sad that he would even kick up this drama for no reason and people can say well he just asked a simple question he didn't disrespect her I feel like it was disrespectful for him to even bring it to the internet when you sincerely care about somebody and you want to know why they've done something wrong you go and you talk to that person you look them in the eye and you let them know how you feel you don't take it to social media when you start taking stuff to social media that lets me know that you're looking for attention and you don't care how you get it and I think the whole situation is sad because their father is also elderly and he doesn't need to see his children fighting and going back and forth one on national television the other on YouTube when he's trying to mourn his wife so both Wendy and her brother they both need to grow up so anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, honey. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because YouTube is unsubscribing people. They ain't trying to let me get to a million subscribers, but we're going to make it by hook or crook. <laughs> so
So anyways, y'all, let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation concerning Wendy Williams and her brother Tommy that I did not even know existed until today. Let me know your thoughts. How do y'all feel about this? Do you feel like Tommy's being messy and he's looking for his own show and he's using his sister to do that? And how do you feel about Wendy Williams even addressing him on national television and basically giving him more attention than he even deserved? So I want to know your thoughts. Make sure you guys hit that like button, share the video. Last but not least, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.